Harry. That's me. Congratulations, first off. <laughs> um, how did you get Daniel here, though? Um, I was up in Amherst where we shot it and my aunt lives up there and she has this crazy barn and we just went and hung out in the barn, me and my cousins, for the night. The next day I then read a New York Times article about homeless children during the recession and my friend and I, Julian, who's sadly not here, we wrote it together. Julian and I both wrote, I think, like two pages a piece of just little bullet points for each character and then we bolted out and basically wrote little essays about each character. Yeah, and we had like complete, complete backstories and family history and so on. When we were shooting that scene with the police, the initial scene where he gets spotted on the road, it was like sub-zero temperatures and we were out there, we had just our car and the cops, they were real cops, they came out and it was just all of us freezing and I think in a couple of shots we had to edit out the boom pole because you could see the shadow just shaking over everyone's faces. We've been tinkering with the sound a lot, we had some issues with the sound because there was basically no crew, it was just like, a camera guy and then like sort of me directing it with Julian and a boom that was sort of our crew we had one or two friends but we've been tinkering with the sound that was our biggest issue do you have any plans for the film after this yeah I mean I work in film right now um, I'm a personal assistant to um, an actor right now um, Tracy Morgan so I, I'm his personal assistant right now and yeah I plan on staying the course yeah